HR2 factoring expressions. This whole target comes down to that old um, generic rectangle and diamond problem stuff that you were doing before. I really feel like you have to understand this whole setup where you make a generic box and you have the diamond problem here. And so what you're going to do is you're always going to put the first number in the first box. You're going to put the last number in the last box. You're going to multiply those two together. So you're going to multiply those two numbers together to see what you get a new number. And then you put the middle number down here in the bottom. Now the trick to solving this diamond problem over here is where the two numbers multiply together to make the top number. And where they add, that says add, where they add to make this bottom number. So let's go ahead and try that. But this is the setup. If you want to pause it and write that down, it's a good idea. So you go up here and you look at this and say, okay, I've got to do a generic box and a diamond problem. Then I put the first number in the first box. That was the x squared. The last number is 32. Multiply those two together. That goes up top into 32x squared. Then this middle number I haven't used yet, so negative 12x goes down here. So what are two numbers that multiply to positive 32 but add to negative 12? Well, those are going to end up being um, negative 8 and negative 4. So because negative times a negative makes a positive and they add to make this negative, so this is negative 8x and this is negative 4x. Then I have to figure out what the outside of dimensions of this box would be to make it true. Well, this is going to be x times x. It's the only way you get x squared in that box. And then this would have to be x times negative 8 to get that to work, and this would have to be negative 4. Negative 4 times 8 makes positive um, 32. Therefore, the two factors are x minus 4 times x minus 8, and you just factor that into that. Congratulations. Okay, now, next kind. This is a little bit different because now they're all even to start with. You've got to scan these problems to see if they have what's called a common factor and you need to take that out. So what's interesting about this one is that it starts out by dividing everything by 2 and then you get 3x squared minus 10x plus 8 because you've taken that 2 out. Then this is the part that goes into the generic box and rectangle and your final answer does not lose the 2. That's what I see a lot of people make a mistake on. This 2 disappears. You've got to keep it there, and it ends up looking something like that. That's how long your answer is, those three parts. So if we generic box this thing and this, and I go, okay, the first number in the first box is 3x squared. Last number in the last box, that makes 24x squared, and negative 10x would be down here. Two numbers that multiply to negative 4 to add to negative 10, well, that's going to be negative 6 and negative 4. 6 times 4 is 24, add and make that. So then put negative 6x here, negative 4x here. It doesn't matter which one's where, but it does matter where you put the 3x and x out on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 3x over here, put the x over here. This would be minus 2, um, because then that would make negative 6 in this corner, and then to make positive 8, this would have to be minus 4, because a negative 4 times x makes negative 4x, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So that ends up being negative 3, negative 3x minus 4, and then this would be x minus 2. So there is your whole entire complete answer to that problem. The last one, x squared minus 25. This is called the difference of squares shortcut. Difference of squares. And it's called that because everything is square rootable. So I can take the square root of this and that, and it's separated by a difference, which is subtraction. So the answer ends up being all the square rooted parts. The square root of x squared is x. I'm going to put those there. Square root of 25 is 5. I'm going to put it here, and then you just separate it by a plus and a minus, and that's the shortcut for that type of problem.